Well, we've got a good group tonight. So let me raise a couple of questions.
guess you have in Okay, well, can you read it? Yeah. In terms of experience, what is the self? Now what? <coughs> now what does the is, quote unquote, mean in the above sentence? Well, don't know the what does now the what does is the is? I think it's actually it. I think we can start out there. There should be a is mean as uh, in the same sentence. In how many ways can the. I think you have an extra is. We're wondering on number two is there an extra is? The second question. Now what? What does. Now what does is. Oh, now what does the is. Thank you. Thank you. In how many ways can his be unpacked to discover other meanings of his? After you have a list of is's, what can you deduce, reduce, what? Reduce them to. The root bottom of metaphysics is the absolute origin. What is. Take answers. I got three for the second question. Go ahead. I got three answers for the second question. <laughs> Actually, I did the third question, is what I did. Is how many ways is it? I have, um, uh, what is its nature? That's one way to, to understand the is, to use the is. And then, how is it experienced? How it is, that what is experience, man? Uh, well, 
This is just another way that the is can be taken as how is, what is the self? In other words, how is it experienced? Uh, did you answer the question? Oh, okay, what's the question? What is, uh, what is the is mean? Oh, in terms of experience, what is, oh. I have a question. What well, what is, what is experience? I think, Pierre, what he was saying is that he had three answers for two. And I don't know. Three. Three. Number three. He had three no, answers for number three. Three answers. answers. He gave the first one nature. Um, like, how is it perceived? Uh, what do you mean by your experience? And how is it distinguished from anything else? It has a it has a, a beginning and an, it has a duration. There's a beginning, middle, oh. and end. Okay. It's oh. in time. Yeah, well, that's enough. Okay, we we have it all. Yeah. I just have a question. You have uh, a question? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to ask you about number five. Yeah. Can there be intellectual insights that are not experiences? Yeah. I'm just wondering, does it change? Uh, what's the difference between intellectual and intelligible? You have to ask. <laughs> Maybe I just did. Well, I wanted to, to add to Eldar's thing there, saying so presupposes time. That would only be an experience. Pardon? Presupposing time would only be a, a phenomenal experience. A numina experience would have a beginning, middle, and end, but not necessarily in time. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can feel the so yeah. I would, um, f for number five, I would say yes, that there are insights that are not experiences. Um, I think those insights will affect, have an effect on your experience, but they themselves are not experiences. Therefore, you did answer? I would answer yes. Yes. Yeah. Right? Mm. I'd say no. Okay, because? Well, I think intellectual insights assume already an experience. Intellectual insights already assume an <coughs> insight. Experience. Well, then, what do we mean by experience? That you can have intellectual insights. But that, that doesn't tell me what is the word experience. No, it doesn't tell you. That's the why. Word that's why I was urging you to add to it. Well, I would say an intellectual insight can be. I know, but then we still have a worry about what the word experience means, don't we? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. With experience, there has to be the 
experiencer, the experienced, and the experiencing, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, is that what separates it from five? Because they're not, you would say? Yeah, I would say it separates it from five. You can have an experience that doesn't have no. From what you said, right? Um, can there be intellectual insights that are not experiences, you're saying? No. Because that's what you added, did you not? That's what you said. Yeah. Because you're saying intellectual insights are experiences, essentially, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Does that presuppose that there must be something experiencing it? Yes. Therefore, that answer, while it's very nice, covers and still leaves a mystery. Yeah, what it is. Right, right. right. Yeah. So what is it that is beyond experience? Yeah. Here? Yeah. There's a question back there, but could you do me a favor and read it? Because I came late. And I'm sorry, but I can't quite read. One, That's two. because of the handwriting. Hard to say. In terms of experience, what is the self? Hmm. Now, what does that is mean in that above sentence? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. What is, like, uh, therefore, the next question is, in how many ways can the is be unpacked to discover other meanings of is? Hmm. After you have a list of such ises, uh, can you reduce them? Can you reduce them to one? Hmm. To one idea? Right? Hey, uh, can there be intellectual insights that are not experiences, whatever we mean by experiences? What, what after all, does experience mean? Now, remember, we agreed that we'll wait until Brad comes before we're willing to give him the, all of the questions to answer. That was the agreement. Always yeah. right on time. Yeah, we voted on it. I just would like to add, can there be intelligible insights that are not experiences? Okay. Uh, a short while ago you said yes, did you not? No, I didn't say oh, that. Okay. It can either be yes or no. I, or or <laughs> some other third option. But I, I have another, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I, I guess, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I have another one for number three. All right. Uh, which is, you can also take it as, how does the self relate to experience? Thank you. I'll take it. Go ahead. <laughs> That's all. No, I mean, <laughs> answer it. <laughs> well, oh, okay, you want me to answer you it. You want to answer it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's where one. it goes. In terms of experience. Right. Yeah. Mm. The cell. So, I. Are, so. Does that lead us to the self as beyond experience? Yeah, sure. That doesn't answer what an experience is, of course.
Okay. Got a couple of more. Yeah, I like the last question. Could could you read it? Yeah. Can what truly is be answered by appealing to the brilliant light of being experience? You didn't put. Okay. And so. That light, that light is what truly is. But uh, why is the idea of being connected with the light? I don't know. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Presume as an answer, I'm you. not as a question. <laughs> I because it is. Anywhere, come on. Okay, so I would say because it is. Why is the being connected to the light? Because it is. Hmm. I don't know if that answers the question. Therefore, well, well <laughs> if 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 the light is, how could it not have been? Well, then it has it. Does it have it on a temporary basis or a rent? No. Is it rented? No. Uh, is it conjoined? No. Oh. In what way is it related? I want to see, want to see someone thinking. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you experience I I you. <laughs> That's when you experience the self. When Pardon? you when um, with the brilliant light of being, you experience yourself.
see this. Are um, <clears throat> all experiences a manifestation of something? Yeah, a paradigm. Yes. Well, if so, then what does that do to your last answer? Is seeing the self, did I, what did I, the well, seeing I the mind. brilliant light of being is I don't the self. mind, I'll, hey, with this, or ex, is with this I can change it. Right? I don't know how, let's see. Look here. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I said it here. How do you want to change it? Um, is seeing that light the self? I guess you have it right, the experience of that light is the <laughs> Is the self. But yeah. is this true? Is this true? No. Are all experiences a manifestation of something? Look, when you're stuck with this, just call on Brad. Oh, yeah, I forgot, Brad. That's right. Yes. Yeah. The answer is yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> is that the same? Is that also what? Then you have to ask you of what? Right. There, therefore, would it be the self then? Or could it be, hmm. Julie? Well, are all experiences a manifestation of self? Of something, or of something. Whole self. Okay, let me ask you a question. So, uh, what's the work we were going to get into tonight? Uh, First hypothesis. Parma. Oh, okay. Um, We're going to look at the I thought maybe we'd get someone to re read. Who'd like to read? One, I'll read. I'll two, read. dialogue. Sure. Hey, we're going to go only the first eight exchanges between Parmenides and Aristoteles and the second hypothesis. And you tell me what difference it makes to everything we put on the board. All right, got the problem? Okay, let me see. Uh, 142B. One, one, one more time. 142 beta. So, right. You're right, I think. Uh, do you wish then to return to the hypothesis? Of course. Yes. We have to participate, yes. though. Go ahead. One, which one do you want to play? Okay. I'll play Parmenides. She called it first, so I felt like it's only fair to let her read Parmenides. At the beginning. Of what? Second hypothesis. What's this one? Second hypothesis. That's a good way to go. Yeah. Therefore, keep going. Please Do you read. wish then that we return again to the hypothesis from the beginning to see if anything of another kind may come to light? Okay. Okay. Can you turn your oh, sure. Kind of that Yeah. How long the cord is it? Longer than mine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Let's try to it over. Do you? Ba ba boom. Again, to the hypothesis from the beginning. Hey, throw your voice. Come on. Teach your voice here. Project. Project. <laughs> Come on. Throw your Play voice. Playing Parmenides. Thank you. Yeah. 
Do you wish then that we begin again? We turn again. Oh, look, I can't even see now. Do you wish then that we return again to the hypothesis from the beginning to see if anything of another kind may come to light for us who are returning? By all means then, I do so wish so. Is it not the case then that if we say one is, then we must go through the same logos about these following conclusions about self, whatever they happen to be, or is it not so? Yes, it is so. See then, from the beginning, accordingly then on the one hand, if one is, then can self be such as it is? Well, on the other hand, it does not participate of Usia. It could not be so. And is it not the case then that the Usia of the one could not be the same being as the one? For if that were not the Usia of that one, then neither could this one participate of that. For then to say one is would also be like saying one one. Whereas our present hypothesis is not this first one, that is, what must be the result if one won, but what must be the result if one is. Is it not so? It certainly is so. Is it not the case then that that which is signifies something different than the one? Necessarily. Keep reading. Take notice then that whenever anyone says that one is, that another way to say this concisely would be the one participates of Usia. By all means indeed. Surely then let us say again what will happen if one is. Consider that if it is not necessarily the case that this hypothesis signifies the one being in such a way as to possess parts. Okay. How? Oh. oh. In the following way, if that which is is said to belong to the one being, it will also mean that the one belongs to the being of the one. Whereas it is not the case that both the Usia and the One are the Self, since both belong to that Self which we hypothesize, such as the One Being. Accordingly then, on the one hand, must not the One Being necessarily be the whole Self, whereas on the other hand, the One and that which is have come into being as parts of this whole. Necessary. Then shall we call each of these? That's enough. Okay. So, uh, this word, experience, is that another word for participate? Nice, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure, because experience means you're passive to something. You experience something means you're receiving it in a way. And that's a kind of participation. Sounds like it. Yeah, that is to me. Undergo well, that's curious. Yeah. Well, what does this paragraph do to what we've been reasoning? Hmm. Let's go back over it. What's the point you saying? Come on. That self participates in the hey, What does he say about the idea of the self? Can it be such as it is, while on the other hand it does not participate of Lucia? But you're not ending the quote. I'm not? Maybe I had the wrong quote. Oh, go ahead. No, that's right. Keep read, read the whole thing, please. Um, the court, see then from the beginning, accordingly then, on the one hand, if one is, then can self be such as it is? While on the other hand, it does not participate of Lucia. It could not be so. Uh, what did 
be if you read the whole thing. Well, that's that's what I was all that I was referring to. But yeah, yeah. You want me to keep reading? Uh, and is it not the case then that the usia of the one could not be the same being as the one? For if that were not the usia of the one, then neither could this one participate of that. For them to say one is would also be like saying one one. Whereas our present hypothesis is not this one that is. What must be the result if one one? But what must be the result if one is? Or is it not so? There's a discussion on seven about something curious, which is called the one being. Right? Agree? That this one being possesses members. Therefore, it's the next quote we want to look at carefully. All right? Could you read that one, please? In the following way. Yeah. If that which is is said to belong to the one being, it will also mean that the one belongs to the being of the one. Whereas, is it not the case that both the usia and the one are the self? Since both belong to that self which we hypothesized, such as the one being. Thank you. Sorry, Alfred, did you read that last okay. question? Okay, conclusion accordingly. Go ahead. Sentence. Okay. Accordingly, then, on the one hand, must not the one being necessarily be the whole self? Right. Hey, the whole thing is going to depend upon that word belong, does it not? It appears twice in that section. Yeah. What point is he making? <coughs> well, they're connected, right? <coughs> it is not the case that both the sea and the one are the self. That looks like it's saying degrees of experience uh, on participation. So this is a process, right? He didn't say past tense participated. It participates, which means it admits of degrees, does it not? Yeah. Yes. Which is why he can later talk about time since that presupposes time. Mm -hmm. 
but look here. Hmm. He's saying, what is he saying in that quote? Come on, it's your quote. It you cannot a, say, hey, you cannot say that this is the self right. as parts are to whole. But properly, how should it be expressed? Since both belong to that self, which we hypothesize. Right. It right. must be. This is not true that this, is in fact, is the self. But rather, that it be belongs, to, belongs to. What does that mean? Well, look here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, good question. You got the question. Good. All right. Come on now. Uh, look at the way it appears the first time he uses the word belong. Come on. Go back into it. Well, however it belongs, it's not part of the whole, right? It holds part. Come on. Is and being are connected. Come on. Take a look. Want to read it again, please? Are we prominent is eight? No. That which is. Come on. If that which is is said to belong to the one being. That's all. That's the way he's using that expression. If that which is. Right? Oh, come on, you got to stay on that before you apply it to the idea of the soul. Okay? Now, say, Miss, would you agree the person who's wondering about it ought to be called upon? Yes. Uh, are you wondering about it? Yes. Well, wow, that's a good person to ask about it. It sounds like he's saying it, it means that it's a part of it. What is it? That the word belong oh. is saying that it's part of it. But it's not part of the whole relationship. No. Hey, what is he defining? At that moment. Is he defining? What is? Oh. Yeah, I was also... Hey! Was telling us what the use of the word is, is. And then he proceeds to talk about what it is, in what way it belongs. That's right. Okay. Could you read it again, please? Same line. If that which is, is said to belong to the one being. Ah. Now we have it. Look here. Can that which truly is be said to belong to the one being, according to this quote? Yes. Yes. Ah. I, is, is, is I, I, again, we're worried about that one word. <coughs> yeah. Is it? It, it yeah. looks here. It looks like he's saying. Um, it looks like he's using it like. Um, uh, can it be said to be in that class? Like, instead of belongs, if you say, if that which is, is said to be in the class of the one being. Okay. Does it equally say when you're using the metaphysically the idea of is, right. that you can say it belongs to to the one being, but there can be other other things it belongs to besides one being. Uh, what? Forget I, about I, what. That which truly is. I agree with the first part, but <coughs> I, I don't know about the second. Come on, stay with it. <coughs> Could someone come back and say, excuse me, <coughs> I've always wondered about the idea of what truly is in metaphysics. Uh, what do you think it is? Well, it belongs to the one being. 
Oh, are other things about the one being that can be said to have the property of belonging? Or is that exclusive? No. See, if it's exclusive, that means that and only that is being concerned, right? No. If so, then, what truly is, is one being. Right. Mm. So therefore, there's a lot at stake, depending upon that curious expression, right. belongs to. Yeah. Okay. So therefore, would you agree? We're going to have to retreat into the Greek. <laughs> well, that that was my question. Retreat, retreat. I mean, if I can ask now, like, if that which is the, I don't know if this is the same Greek you're thinking of, but the Ato is that, does that mean that which always is, like Lucia? Uh, I think you're making a point rather than asking a question, are you not? You're advancing. I'm asking. No, no, you don't have to ask. <laughs> Risk it. Come on. Okay, I'm saying. Yeah. That. Uh, that. That which is. Okay, good enough. Barbara, time to look at it. Um, what in particular did you want to know about? The word belong. Oh, How did that sneak in here? That's leggy. Well, we've talked about that at various meetings, that that's sim that is a genitive. Right. Whereas uh, yeah. there is a word for belongs in Greek, and this is not it. But this is but not it. This is not it. Therefore, we have a real problem. Yeah. Well, Go ahead. Well, um, genitive can mean, you can have a genitive of possession, yeah. which is how one is translating it here. You know, he's not off the mark. Sure. But um, on the other hand, they, um, genitive is also used for like the son of the father. You know, right? so, or what else? So there's a bunch of, they have things called partitive genitive. Does that work here? Like is is a part of um, the one being, not a part in the sense of because we don't have a measure, but is some segment of. So what possibility? But that's segment. The, sorry. But that's is the puzzle. Is it class? Possible. Is that the puzzle? A puzzle. Oh, absolutely. Right. I didn't bring anything with me to look it up, unfortunately. I don't know how many genitive has a lot of different relationships. Not <laughs> all the other cases. Um. Look. Those are all genitives uh, belong, belong, belong. Carry the same thought to the next use. See, I, one thing true. about a possessive genitive, right, is that that which you own. Yes. yes but exactly. that which is what you own is different from yourself. Yes. It so surely is. Right? Yes. Wait a minute. Therefore, whatever belongs to the one, it must be separate from the one. Mm -hmm. But there's a kinship between them. Yeah, relationship, something, yeah. And, it, and we haven't specified what kind of kinship that is yet. No. Right? So uh, but we, we have specified it's not part of the whole. Hold on. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, you're up. I just said we have specified that it's not part of the whole. That's right. Can I ask you? Okay, let's go back. Come on. It, He's doing something curious about parts of whole, and you have to see it. Can I ask the one question? I think you said what that this statement, the first line, is saying that which is, that that which truly is, is one being. And are you saying that uh, because um, when you have SD said of one being, that the whole is raised to the level of true being? Because an SD does not necessarily mean that, as we've seen, right? right? And it has a range of existence, world of becoming, uh, coming into being. And so I'm wondering if you're saying because it's applied to one being, 
therefore it has the level of or the meaning of true being. Right. Is or that fair? existence. Oh, existence. Oh, okay. So when you say truly is, you mean it has existence. True. True existence. Okay, true existence I can go with. Okay. True existence. I'm okay with that. Right? Yeah. All right, then what has true existence? Uh, Something that has the property of being one. possessed by the one. one being. Right? Come on, stay with it. Something if that's the, one the model, okay. yes, pardon me. The one being. Yeah. Okay. If that's the model he's using in that sentence, now he's going to transfer it to the idea of self. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, Barbara. Therefore, Barbara, continue. Well, um, in, in the same way. The right. One, in the same. See. Yeah. In the same way. I'm just saying that that's what it's. Yeah. The same exact um, relationship. Um, the one is the subject, and it is of the being of one, right, or of the one being. It's very hard to make hey, it. yeah. that's repeating it. This yes. Way. Right? So he's stressing it. Yes. Right? And he's stressing it because he's moving from existence to being with a capital B. Mm. Is that the S D to Onkos? Try. Uh, mm -hmm. Take a look. Well, Ontos is in both sentences, right? That's right. So yeah, but that's being is the highest, the highest state of is. That's right, the highest state of being. Go ahead. But he, well, hold on. He's he's not saying the one being, right? Okay. The one belongs to the being of the one. Is that is that the one is that the one being which he just mentioned or something different? Well, one has added. This is one's idea that of of the being of the one is a distinction he's making. But if you look at um, the Greek of one being and being of the one, right. the only difference is the order of the two. Okay. And there's no the. It's not the being of the one. There's no the in there. So but it's, not it's a distinction one's making. So, so it's not the the one. No, but it is. Um, you know, I think the lobe does being one and one being. Yeah, I don't know about so, it. So, just I was having trouble with that. So the one belongs to the one being. Is that what it should be? I would go that way. But okay. the air is the higher. Yeah, but and therefore we should see from... Is that I, he's making a statement about one being, isn't he? I think so. And he's pushing it all the way up. All the way up. And he's saying, hey, on the highest level, what we mean by one being must contain the idea of one. Must contain, must, must, must contain be, the, yeah. the idea of the one. Must possess. Must possess it. Okay. And that and was, and that that was it. Must right. possess it. Eldar, right? Right? Yeah. It, it, so it must possess the one and that which is. Right. Well, now, wait a minute. We want to continue this thought. Hold that for a moment. Okay. okay. Keep we reading for that point. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Whereas it is not. The, it is not the case that both Usia, the Usia, and the one are the self. Since both are same grammar, both since um, you don't really have both here, but of that self which we hypothesize, both are of that self which we hypothesize, um, and, and then the one being. It's what David and what is correct to say it's in a positive, right? Which means that in this sentence, the self which we hypothesize and the one being uh, are the same. Nice. In this hypothesis. That's right. And this hypothesis. Oh, that the one, uh, that the one, <clears throat> sorry, both belong to that self which we hypothesize. And that self which we hypothesize is the one being. Okay, in this hypothesis. Right. Okay. Is there That's a, right. Got it. Yeah, yeah, got it. Okay. okay, are we okay? Now he's, he's telling us what that hypothesis is mm. right there. Okay. Hmm. It's a self which possesses so, both. Mm -hmm. See, now. Uh,
This expression, brilliant light of being, has the uh, parallel meaning that it's in the highest sense of being. Mm -hmm. And that's the one. Mm, lovely. Right? Mm -hmm. What kind of one? The highest vision of the one. Oh, right. So like the last, which is in the world of mind. Right. Okay. Right. All right? So. Now, now here comes the, the fun part. All right? You mean the accordingly then? Yeah. Okay. Accordingly then, on the one hand, must not the one being, or must not one being necessarily be the whole self. Right. Wow. That's Therefore, hey, whatever you mean by the it's totality the of one being and the highest expression, mm -hmm. it is not different than the whole self. The whole self. Right? Yep. So look here, you can put it like, like behind the idea of the whole self must be the highest vision of the one. Yeah. But the highest vision of the one can be experienced in the brilliant light of being. Why? Because the brilliant light of being is said to be the most, the greatest. The highest level Or the being. highest revelation or, of and that's being the one. in that brilliant light. Mm -hmm. Oh, the highest level experience, cognitively experienced, yeah. known, the highest level of subject object. That's right. Okay. Right? Oh, oh. Wow. Oh. Okay, going back to the questions. All right, it's now, now it's a test. Everyone got the test in front of me, gonna answer? First one. Is, is mean and the above? True existence. True existence or existence or belongs to or mean. Or could it also be uh, an expression for equivalent? Same? Yeah. Equivalent? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. If so. It, 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 then how is the is functioning in the above sentence? Uh, equivalent to? Yeah, equivalent to being. That's so therefore the is in that case is? Being. Equivalent to pure being. being. Yeah. Right, right, right. Oh, hey, wait a minute, three. Are we seeing many different ways of using the idea of is? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Say, uh, we don't have it, but we should be getting it. The different uses of the word is. Mm -hmm. Right? We're getting a couple of them. And we can get them out of the second hypothesis mm. if we go further, as we mm. go further. Is, right? it, is, it like, um, is it like being or existence? Is it that kind of a list? Well, since she asked, is it that kind of thing, I'll, I'm going to be safe and say yes. <laughs> oh, man. I'll, I'll have you with that. <laughs> come on. Hey, come on. Go further. 
Did you get an intellectual insight just now? Yeah. Into the idea of self, yes. into being, yes. into existence, yes. into the highest vision of one? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, what is that like when you saw that or made that connection? It, uh, Brad? True. Right? Look here. Shall we test this out and ask Steve? Oh. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. Yes. Well, what is the question? <laughs> uh, that was the best one my computer. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. His hand went up. Ah. Yes or no? I will. I will. I will. Uh, where did your hand go up? It, it may have. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, come on. Uh, here we are. Come on, on five. Can you say there, you ask what it's like, can I say intelligible? Is this kind of thing that you just experienced equivalent to the brilliant light of being? I think so. Yeah. Yes. yes. Uh, fully? Approximately? Um, um, I don't know. I got this up. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, I was over here eating all this candy. <laughs> and I was having so much fun. Hold it, hold it. We'll get her to do it again. Go ahead, do it again. I was eating all this candy, and I kind of was neglecting how you were doing it. And when I saw that, was, did you answer the question I was solving? I don't remember the whole self. I think, yeah. Whoever answered one again. Now, wait a minute. You changed the subject from yeah. the opening sentence. Yeah. Now, why don't you stay back with it? Well, just a, You were pointing to the candy. Yeah, when you went back now and asked people how they were seeing these differently, I was amazed at how differently the self was being seen now. And then when you asked about is, even I, with, with how little I was paying attention, was seeing that from what you had drawn out here, what I, we had pulled out, that I could even see it differently, even in the midst of all this distraction. And it blew me away. And I thought, oh my god, we are actually seeing, answering these questions better now, this time around. What? And I thought, too bad I missed. The, uh, then I thought, I'll, I'll go out, I'll, I'll review it later when I get No, 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 you don't want to review it. No, 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 no. Exactly, then I got pissed off. You have to stay with it. Yeah. So, huh. So that's a different way of seeing or experiencing that you're going through? Yeah. Or are they both, or? Well, I just am amazed at how you're able to do this. Put oh. these questions up well, there. Well, my father was a juggler. <laughs> that explains everything. Yeah. I always like to ask that, answer those questions. So we take up juggling too? Does that answer it? <laughs> Just because my father belongs in the same family as I do does not answer the question of whether or not that idea belongs to him. Well, I, I'm supposed to. Yeah, okay, we're playing. All right, okay, come on. Pierre, before you turn the page, or are you turning the page? By the way, no. did you guys reach to whatever level you want to admit to? Uh, if you've been following this discussion, uh, did you discover what some ideas mean? When you reach meaning, is that an experience? Yeah. What now? What kind of experience would you call that? Intelligible. Pardon me. Intelligible. He said intelligible. I said intelligible. Bradley was going to say. Good, Brad. Spiritual. Spiritual and intelligible. Yeah. I'll say intelligibly spiritual. Whatever that means. Do we know what that is? Hey. No, nor me. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to say 
going to say divine. Sure. When I open my mind up to that state of mind. Yes. That wonderment. That's right. Tears to my That's eyes, right. And I was full of honor no. to be able to put myself in that high state of mind. Then at that time, can you use the word belong? No, there was a saying. <laughs> right. The same <laughs> right. It's, a, it's a your possession huh. or belongs to you. Yeah. Right, right, right. Hey, did we hit enough on this word? <coughs> when you reach meaning, when you reach meaning, <clears throat> what kind of experience is that? If it is experience. <laughs> like, is it sense experience? No. No. Uh, go ahead. You would rather say? Um, I don't know how to put words on it. You just. Uh, well, you got a colleague here going to help you. I think if the, for me, it's the aha moment. The. Yeah. Okay. What kind of experience is that? Yeah, the, I, I got it. I, right, it's the aha phenomenon. Yes, that I hit the target, and yeah. I yeah. know it correct in my soul, I know it. Mm. And to play the game of meaning in this way, you're opening up to that kind of experience that allows you then to penetrate into the world of the mind in a more profound way. Is that right? And I would add to that that the prior state to the aha is a, similar to a cloud. It's it's like a darkness. And when you have the aha, things are dispelled. There seems to be light. Things are coming in. Well, would you, you see, say then you see. that when you saw these questions, you descended into darkness? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying that. I'm saying that when you're reading no. and you get meaning no. and you get that aha moment. Mm. Okay. Right, that that actually that happened to me when I was, you know, when I was 18 reading the Ion with you and I was at home doing my homework and I was sitting there and I realized that you were teaching us to read and as we and as I sat there and read yeah, that happens, right? That that aha, meaningful moment, and it is very much like the most brilliant light of being. Hmm. Okay. Or it is all right. that. Okay. Look, that's all. All well said. Uh, now, simultaneously, can you bring everything on this page into what you're now considering and seeing? Like, is it possible that someone might say, um, say, I've heard about the brilliant light of being, uh, finish it. Is it like true being? Right? Is it like the highest vision of the one? Uh, is it like uh, manifestation of the self? Uh, come on, what does it do? If that's what it is, it's equivalent, right? In terms of immediate experience, what is that too to the word experience? Immediate. Mm. It turns into participation. Could, could you, uh, could, you could you ask that question? Could you ask that question again? Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> you only asked if I could do it. Will you? <laughs> <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> The question is, uh, now that you look at this idea of brilliant light of being, can you use the ideas we have just reflected upon and pull them together and apply it to the brilliant light of being? Mm. See, it's going to come down to this question, you see. That's the real question for the whole night. 
whatever you're going to call an experience, whether it's an intellectual insight or a mystical experience, whatever you're going to call it, is it true that all experiences of any kind are invariably and inseparable from a manifestation of something that is not yet apparent? Mm. Hmm. Now that, what? Huh? What do you mean? That's where it goes. See what you're doing? Yeah, Ask me what does it mean? Right. Now, wait a minute. Is that fair? I think it's fair. Oh, I asked I the wrong fair. person. <laughs> <laughs> I <think we> have <laughs> All right. Well, I like how Beth, you please. Right. Say on. Oh, so, sorry, I'll, I'll go quick. But I wanted to know. Oh. I'm going to ask a hard question to you. Good. When we see that moment of aha, how come we can't be there all the time? Ah. Uh, uh, see, I knew it was going to be a hard question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the answer is yes. <clears throat> <laughs> you can be there all the time. You can be all there all the time. We can? Oh, did I answer it? He said yes. Well, yeah. Let me check. Did I answer it? Why not? I thought he asked why not. Why not? Why, why can we not be there all the time? You asked whether, whether or not can. you can be there all the time. Yeah. No, he asked, no, he asked why can we not? And like, for example, why do we not stay in the most brilliant light of being? I avoided all. that because that was yeah. more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to look good. This is trying to help him out, you know. Instead of asking who <laughs> hey, look here. Can. The real question is, what follows that pulls you out of it? Yeah. That's the issue. Something else caught your attention. So you drop it. You lose and it. also what gets you back into it, right? Well, that's easy. But being pulled out of the That's easy. Point. Just read the second hypothesis of Plato's book. Well, but I, yeah, to do Regina some justice, I think what she was questioning, if you can tell me if I'm wrong, Regina, but was that you added something to what's on the board. Yeah. What's did. on the board is, are all experiences a manifestation of something? No. You added that is not yet apparent. Right. I noticed that. Yeah, that was clever. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's true. Good. Yeah. What difference does that make? No, just what does it mean? Well, in order to make sure we have the question, what did he ask? <laughs> but, uh, Regina, go ahead. What is he asking? Yeah. He's asking, what, is it, what do you mean by the fact that it is all our, uh, are all experiences a manifestation of something and it's not apparent? apparent. And it is not yeah. apparent. Right. What? Yet. Right. Yet. Not yet apparent. That, yeah. That's yet an apparent. obvious answer. All causes are not apparent. Until, unless. See, <laughs> see, we've been taught. Okay, so that's right, what we've been taught. Online. There's an idea of cause, and for the most part, <clears throat> anybody who talks about that is going to avoid the real issue. This is the real issue. <clears throat> This is the real issue, of cause. <clears throat> are, you, are you saying like what's the cause of the cause is the real issue? No. Okay, so I don't understand your connection between what we have been taught about cause. Well, I'll, I'll, it's easy. Let me ask you. By the way, uh, can you give me an example of the use of the word cause in such a way that you understand you what you're person. saying about the subject? You really are asking the wrong person. <laughs> no. Did you see what happened? Yeah, no, he's I, I, I was saddened by it. Yeah. I did. Yeah. God, give All me right. a. Come on. All right. Okay, come on. Try it. He passed it to you. Okay. Did you well, the whole thing was about the cause of the cause. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
have a peculiar property, and that is uh, that they are unknown. Yes. They're not apparent. Or uh, not apparent is better than unknown, okay? They're not apparent. They're a mystery. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the question is, can you give me an example of the use of the word cause or cause and effect such that we can go on and talk about it? No. Yes, the wrong yeah, I can. Here, here, we I got one. Can, can do you have one too? Yeah, no, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like two. Don't go for the brilliant light of being is what this is saying. Well, pardon me. Do it again. If I get the gist of this, of, of what we're talking about, don't go for the brilliant light of being. What? Right? Is that a, fair to answer a question with a negative? No. That's only a manifestation. This, this is only a manifestation of it. So therefore. Drop this. Don't Therefore, this. Okay. Yeah. That's true. But right. you were going to advance an example of the idea of cause yes. and perhaps link it with the idea of an effect. Yes. That's what you said yes to. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> well, okay, then I'll do this one. The brilliant light of being is the, is the well, can I use manifestation for effect? No, it would be the effect. Wait, what would be the effect? Brilliant light of being. Yeah. The light um, of a cause which is not apparent. The brilliant light of being. Would be the effect I, I, of How about see, we're now having a difficulty of finding a simple example of cause and effect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whenever you're stuck I told on you this. Had the wrong hey, we have a principle. Always call on Jeff. Uh, yes. Yeah. Two of them. Yeah. Now he's got a quite a background for cause yeah. and effect. Yeah, yeah, right. Right? I was thinking of like a seed in a plant. Yeah. You never yeah. actually see it happen, so it's unapparent. So <laughs> not yeah. really a, not have anything, or a chicken and an egg, but it's not apparent. We'll take so. one. So well, are you saying that the cause of the growth is not apparent? I mean, the seed's apparent. Hey. Yeah, I mean, Look I remember your line with uh, Would you accept that as an answer, Joe? Sorry. No. I'd like, like to hear a little more. The I'd like to hear a little more. The would like to hear, the 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 hear more. Well, you'd also need like the water and the oxygen and okay, proper heat. Like, but do you ever see any of that? I see it's water. It's not very apparent. You know, you know, there's conditions, I, but I don't see the sun. I see what water. a. So then, like, therefore, we conclude what? Just what Pierre just said. Yeah, I, <laughs> right. That the cause is unknown, or right. <laughs> He, no. sne he sneaked in an extra word. Did you notice that word he sneaked in? Which one? Condition. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. right. that goes back to the Republic, right? All right. Look here. We'll ask. Come on. Steve is known to be a man who has good <laughs> answers. <laughs> well. He's jumping at the bit. And your girlfriend <laughs> That's Steve. it. See, it's unapparent. <laughs> and also to add to your point, also Jeff, to add to your point, sometimes you put seeds in the ground and you give them the conditions and they still don't grow. Mm. So again, it's like a mystery. Okay, that's a good example. Hey, look. Yeah. Julie said the other day that the whole diagnostic manual in psychology that describes all the pathologies has one statement in the beginning, an intro introductory statement, which is? Which is, in the inside cover they say, we do not understand the cause of any of the mental disorders. Right? <laughs> we do not understand any of the causes of pathology. Wow. And we're not going right. to find out. Hey, wow. sir. Therefore, you would you not agree? Will you open up your medications and read that long paper thing? They will, in the first paragraph, say, we, although we do not understand the mechanism by which this medicine works, yeah. we think, and then they go on there, too. They don't know why those things work. Sir. Okay, sir, then with relationship to the pathologos and philosophical midwifery, I mean, we look for root causes in our actions through false beliefs. We, 
supposedly we find those false beliefs and we're able to overcome those blocks in our daily life, is that not a connection between you know logos and or, or even path of logos and the actions that you know either block us in our life? And so by going through midwifery, we're trying to find the root causes of those things. Are you still saying that even when you get that principle or that that testament or that that commandment, as it were, of thou shalt do this or that, and then you see that function in your life, and you're able to go back and and you know through midwifery and and dissolve that, as it were, that that's not a cause of it. Notice that is not a question; that is a statement. Good, good. But we good would go point. on. I would go on and say whatever you want to call the cause in such a discussion that you just described. Is it not? Is it not the case that it is unapparent, yeah. mysterious, yeah. 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 not until, easily discovered? Until it's discovered. And all of those words. Now, that's why we need a simple example of a cause, cause and effect. Well, you can see it in the three. I think I just see about gravity and a broken glass. No, you can't see gravity, dude. Go ahead. Up the wrong tree Come on, the use that. Don't by the way, what do you mean by gravity? Yeah, gosh. Uh, well, the, the invisible cause of things falling. She's got invisible causes. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, yeah that's out of the window, invisible. Hey, it's going to start with invisible causes. No, yeah, well, it's, 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 it's not apparent. Well, now, what's wrong with it? We want to make, we want to understand something we can understand. Oh, you want something that is apparent? No, that's not. Uh, it never was. was. Ah, ah, uh, oh. Oh my, <laughs> my, my knees just caved in. Okay, let's quit. <laughs> okay, we have dreams after this. Thank you guys, fun. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. Thank you. But I have an example of a cause. Good, hey, Ta-da. wait a minute, hold it. Yeah, so this was after a meditation. What, what? This was after Meditation. A meditation session up at the Zen Center. And I didn't know that I had had a brilliant life experience until I was talking to you about the experience. That's right. And it was only after I put words on it that I saw that I could see. That's right. So it's the logos that sheds light on. That's true. But what's your cause? Because of seeing. Look, she's go ahead, keep going. Come on. Experience was putting words on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And asking us to put words on it. Look, that's a great answer, see. Mm -hmm. Okay. The idea of cause belongs to the idea of the logos. Ah (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Ah, Look at that. Good, fun. Brew out of them, Julie. Good job. Okay. Take a break. Now I can clap. <laughs> now I'll clap. Hey. You guys clap. This is oh. what we were doing tonight just to find out okay, guys what is the cause. You guys clap. I am good. How are you?